everybody in our world, you know, deserves them the same amount of respect. The, the women in our league deserve the same amount of respect. So um, I, people should not be using my name to push those agendas. Um. Caitlin Clark has seen a drop in fans after showing support for Taylor Swift's Instagram post backing Kamala Harris. Swift's endorsement has led some of Clark's followers to withdraw their support, with some even discarding their jerseys. Despite my efforts to address this, it seems many aren't truly listening. The real Caitlin Clark fans are the ones driving record ratings and attendance, not those who use her to stir up social media drama. Caitlin responded to the backlash with the following statement. You liked a, an Instagram post last mm -hmm. night uh, from Taylor Swift that got a lot of attention. And I'm just curious if, if you could tell us what that post meant mm -hmm. to you and if you are in fact potentially going to endorse Kamala Harris. Thank you. I think for myself is, you know, I have this amazing platform, so I think the biggest thing would be just to encourage people to register to vote. Um, I think for myself is the second time I can vote in an election. At age 22 I could vote when I was 18, so um, I think do that. That's the biggest thing I can do with the platform that I have, and that's the same thing Taylor did. Um, and I think continue to educate yourself um, with the candidates that we have, the policies that they're supporting. Um, I think that's the biggest thing you can do, and that's what I would recommend to every single person that has that opportunity in our country. When asked by a reporter if she would be endorsing Kamala Harris, Caitlin Clark gave a thoughtful response she encouraged everyone to do their own research and exercise their constitutional right to vote. However, this stance hasn't been well received by all of her fans. Some have shifted their support to Angel Reese, expressing frustration over Clark's political engagement and her endorsement through Taylor Swift. Despite enjoying her performances, many are now reconsidering their support after her political involvement. Caitlin Clark broke the record. Oh, actually, let me preface this by saying this ain't no shade to Caitlin Clark. It's more so shade to her fans that think that she is the savior of the WNBA once again. She ain't saved shit. Yeah, she brought a lot of people to the to the the, the stairs and she's been helping do she ain't saved shit. I just want y'all to know that. Okay, back to what I was saying. Let me remind you all, in college, when Kaylin broke the all-time scoring record, not just for women, but for college at college basketball players in general she beat everybody's record she is she now holds the title for most points scored by an ncaa basketball like player women men everybody can buy when she did that the press run that happened was out of this world however angel just broke the wnba record for consecutive double doubles that was held by candace parker from 2009 and mind you this was over two seasons right the 2009 2010 season this was over two seasons angel broke it in one season as a rookie in 22 games that's never happened before and y'all are sitting here trying to tell me that caitlin clark deserves to be rookie of the year over angel be so so what really happened Caitlin Clark, the Iowa star and face of women's college basketball, found herself in hot water after liking a Taylor Swift Instagram post that endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris. It might seem like a harmless action, but in the spotlight even a simple like can spark a media storm. Swift's support for Harris ignited a firestorm of opinions, and Clark's endorsement, however minor, drew intense scrutiny. Fans quickly shifted their focus from Clark's basketball prowess to a heated political debate, Critics attacked her perceived political stance rather than her athletic achievements. Instead of reacting with anger, Clark handled the backlash with grace and poise. She calmly stated that everyone has the right to their own opinions and emphasized that her main focus is basketball. Clark's response was a breath of fresh air in a climate where athletes are often expected to weigh in on every issue. She chose to stay grounded and let her on-court performance speak for itself. However, despite her composed handling of the situation, the backlash didn't die down it intensified. Clark was now judged not just for her game but for her supposed political beliefs, shifting the narrative further away from her athletic talent. All because she did like a tweet of Taylor Swift. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? You're gonna stop being a fan? You know how stupid you look? And how, how much you look very... your brittle spirit, like Dave Chappelle said? Man, that's a brittle spirit. Yeah, you have a brittle spirit if you're that butthurt over a tweet. So what? I'm still gonna be a fan. 
I like Kaylee Clark's game, bro. And I can't wait to see her break that record. Fans who once adored Caitlin Clark suddenly began questioning her motives after she liked a Taylor Swift post endorsing Kamala Harris. Critics accused her of being out of touch and expressed disappointment, shifting the focus from her on-court achievements to her perceived political beliefs. It was as if a switch had been flipped those who once cheered for her were now ready to turn their backs. However, Clark's supporters quickly rallied, calling the backlash absurd and emphasizing that her opinions should not overshadow her basketball talent. They argued that she's an athlete, not a politician, and that social media likes shouldn't define her career. The fan base was sharply divided, with strong opinions on both sides. Things took a dramatic turn when Angel Reese's fans entered the fray. Known for her fierce rivalry with Clark, particularly after their epic NCAA championship clash, Reese's supporters seized the moment to criticize Clark further. What began as a minor social media interaction exploded into a full-blown battleground, with Reese's fans using the opportunity to amplify the drama. The rivalry now extended beyond the court, turning into a heated fan clash that overshadowed the original controversy. Watching women's basketball right now, it all started from the national championship game, and I've been dealing with this for two years now. And understanding, like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me, but honestly, I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball, but you never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watching women's basketball is not just because of one person, it's because of me too. And I want Angel Reese's fans came at Caitlin Clark with intense scrutiny, branding her as out of touch and privileged over her perceived political stance. Some went so far as to dig up old comments and clips to cast her in a negative light. What began as a simple social media interaction quickly spiraled into a full-blown online war, with insults and accusations flying between fans of both players. The rivalry between Clark and Reese spilled out of the basketball arena and into a chaotic realm of social media politics. What started with a harmless Instagram like turned into a fierce battleground, with debates shifting from basketball to personal attacks and fan loyalty. Even those with no interest in women's basketball were drawn into the drama. Amidst the online chaos, Clark's performance on the court began to falter. In a recent game against the Las Vegas Aces, she struggled to maintain her usual high standards. Her shots were off, her energy seemed drained, and it was clear that the mounting social media pressure was taking its toll. Analysts and fans alike speculated that the controversy and backlash might be affecting her game, with some claiming it's impacting her focus and performance. I mean, honestly, Chelsea did guard me a ton, maybe a couple times. Um, Jackie was usually the defender that was matched up on me or when Colson came in. Um, and honestly, they're all really good defenders. They're physical, they're strong. Um, <laughs> the offensive fouls are definitely surprising at times. Um, you know, I feel like I do get held and get quite a bit of contact throughout the games and then you get hit with some of those when you take some contact and give contact back. Um, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, apparently they see something different and then we have to use our challenge to try to not have let AB have a fifth foul in the third quarter that basically takes her out of the game. We lose a challenge. We lose a timeout. So that's tough as well. Um, but, I mean, they're going to be visible. They're going to do it again. It worked. Um, but that's what I should expect at this point. That's kind of what every team does. Um, I think I can use my quickness a little bit better, um, absorb a little more contact, set up cuts a little bit better. I thought overall I got a little bit tired and wasn't moving as, as fast tonight. So uh, definitely will be a focus point on Friday. Chloe, that's At the heart of the current storm is the fierce rivalry between Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Known for their contrasting styles, Angel's bold, outspoken demeanor sharply contrasts with Caitlyn's more reserved, game-focused approach. This clash of personalities has fueled a rivalry that intensifies every matchup and debate. But while their on-court competition was always a hot topic, the rivalry has recently exploded beyond the court, invading social media and even politics. Fans are deeply divided, each side convinced their favorite is not only the superior athlete, but also the better role model and now, the better person. This division has left the basketball world more polarized than ever. The media, eager to fan the flames, has seized on this rivalry, crafting headlines that stoke animosity between Caitlin and Angel. Despite the intense competition, both players have maintained mutual respect for each other as competitors. However, the narrative of hatred is largely driven by fans and media rather than the players themselves. And with the pressure mounting, Caitlin Clark faces a significant challenge. Athletes often crumble under less strain, and the combination of fan backlash, relentless media scrutiny, 
and recent on-court struggles could shake anyone's confidence. Caitlin has demonstrated resilience before, but public criticism can weigh heavily. How Caitlin handles this pressure will be crucial for her season and mental fortitude. While the impact of the recent backlash on her performance is up for debate, one thing is clear Caitlin Clark is not one to back down. She will continue to push forward, let her skills on the court do the talking, and remain true to herself amid the noise. Clark is all about winning. I don't know if y'all know that. I don't know if y'all been paying attention. So I know why Cheryl Swoops is mad. I know why you mad, Cheryl. Because you see Caitlyn making the money that you wish you would have made when you was a player. And you kind of bitter. You kind of salty. It's a jealous spirit. The moral of the story is this. Every OG is not an OG. Some OGs just old and grumpy. So what's next for Caitlin Clark? It's clear she won't let controversy derail her. Despite the noise, Caitlin remains one of the most talented and driven athletes in women's basketball, laser-focused on dominating the court and elevating her game. The fierce rivalry with Angel Reese will continue to spark debates and headlines, captivating fans both on and off the court. But Caitlin will let her basketball speak for itself. Athletes like Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese are not just playing the game, they're pushing the boundaries of women's sports and setting new standards for future generations. Their rivalry, though intense, underscores the growth and passion surrounding women's basketball. The drama, competition and fan loyalty only add to the excitement and global reach of the sport. As fans, we're lucky to witness such extraordinary talent and passion. Whether you're rooting for Caitlin or Angel, it's essential to appreciate the skill, dedication and competitive spirit they bring to the game. Ultimately, our shared love for basketball unites us, and these rivalries only enhance the thrill and evolution of the sport. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe for more updates. Stay tuned for more exciting content. Caitlin Clark broke the record. Oh, actually, let me preface this by saying this ain't no shade to Caitlin Clark. It's more so shade to her fans that think that she is the savior of the WNBA. Once again, she ain't saved shit. Yeah, she brought a lot of people to the to the the, the stairs and she's been helping do she ain't say shit. I just want y'all to know that. Okay, back to what I was saying. Let me remind you all, in college, when Kaylin broke the all-time scoring record, not just for women, but for college at college basketball players in general. She beat everybody's record. She is she now holds the title for most points scored by an NCAA basketball like player women men everybody can buy when she did that the press run that happened was out of this world however angel just broke the wnba record for consecutive double doubles that was held by candace parker from 2009 and mind you this was over two seasons right the 2009 2010 season this is over two seasons. Angel broke it in one season as a rookie in 22 games. That's never happened before. And y'all are sitting here trying to tell me that Caitlin Clark deserves to be rookie of the year over Angel? Be so... So what really happened? Caitlin Clark, the Iowa star and face of women's college basketball, found herself in hot water after liking a Taylor Swift Instagram post that endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris. It might seem like a harmless action, but in the spotlight, even a simple like can spark a media storm. Swift's support for Harris ignited a firestorm of opinions, and Clark's endorsement, however minor, drew intense scrutiny. Fans quickly shifted their focus from Clark's basketball prowess to a heated political debate. Critics attacked her perceived political stance rather than her athletic achievements. Instead of reacting with anger, Clark handled the backlash with grace and poise, she calmly stated that everyone has the right to their own opinions and emphasized that her main focus is basketball. Clark's response was a breath of fresh air in a climate where athletes are often expected to weigh in on every issue. She chose to stay grounded and let her on-court performance speak for itself. However, despite her composed handling of the situation, the backlash didn't die down it intensified. Clark was now judged not just for her game but for her supposed political beliefs, shifting the narrative further away from her athletic talent. I mean, honestly, Chelsea did guard me a ton, maybe a couple times. Um, Jackie was usually the defender that was matched up on me or when Colson came in. Um, and honestly, they're all really good defenders. They're physical, they're strong. Um, <laughs> the offensive fouls are definitely surprising at times. Um, 
you know, I feel like I do get held and get quite a bit of contact throughout the games and then you get hit with some of those when you take some contact and give contact back. Um, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, like, apparently they see something different and then we have to use our challenge to try to not have let A.B. have a fifth foul in the third quarter that basically takes her out of the game. We lose a challenge, we lose a timeout. So that's tough as well. Um, but I mean, they're gonna be visible. They're gonna do it again, it worked. Um, but that's what I should expect at this point. That's kind of what every team does. Um, I think I can use my quickness a little bit better, um, absorb a little more contact, set up cuts a little bit better. I thought overall I got a little bit tired and wasn't moving as, as fast tonight. So uh, definitely will be a focus point on Friday. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah.